plaintiff, Trivia Tyson, says the defendant is her cousin. And she tried to build a relationship with her. But everyone in her family is fake. Trivia claims she and the defendant had a falling out about her mother, and she's suing her today for an unpaid loan. Defendant Ebony Cross says Trivia is nothing but drama. And not only did she teach Ebony how to dance inappropriately as a child, but she was placed on house arrest for cutting someone. Ebony's countersuing because she claims Trivia defamed her. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. All right, and ma'am, you're suing your cousin for $250 for an unpaid loan? That is so correct, Your Honor. All <laughs> right, you want your money. Mm -hmm. and yes, you're... I do. I work hard, Your Honor. All right. And you're suing for $1,500 for defamation by way of slander? Yes, I am, Your Start Honor. Start with you. Okay, what brings us here today is a um, little bit about me and Ebony history. We, um, the reason why I'm up in Minnesota now is because her mother, which is my auntie, she um, told my mother that Minnesota would be a good place to raise kids. And we, you know, we came and- Where were you before then? Chicago, we were here, we were based mm -hmm. here. I was born here. And um, periodically we weren't raised in the same home, but we're cousins, so I'm family, I love family. So with that said, I be trying to build relationships with my cousins, even though they're distant. That's family, not other a lie, family Ronnie. members are distant, so I try to build. How do you know it's a lie? Because I know it's a lie. You're um, I just try don't to build... want to be bothered with you. Go ahead. Right, no. so I try to build relationships with my family, but they're so fake, so. Everybody. Yeah, they are. Everybody can't be wrong, right? You know, so as I'm building a relationship with her, we'll go out, you know, we'll hang out. During the process of hanging out, I meet her at a bar one night. Um, Ebony, over here, over there, she's flying across the bar, wondering what's going on with Ebony. Ebony didn't see some guy she's out there, she didn't have previous relationships with, and he with her, his new boo, she don't like that. So now we all might have That's to lie, fight. Your Honor. So I'm old, I can't be out there fighting like that. I slip my hip, hurt my back, something. So I'm not, I'm not trying to be in a messed up situation because I have to get up and go to work the next day. You see what I'm saying? So That's I stopped you were, that. I retired and on a pension. And I wish I was. I'm working towards that. Oh. I, I'm honestly working towards were, that. I work two jobs, so my time is coming up soon. Okay. But back to the case, Your Honor. So um, <laughs> I just want my money, you know? So um, me and Ebony fell out. Um, I had about posted what? something um, on Facebook about my mother. Me and my mother don't have the closest relationship that I would like. And um, I basically put out a post crying out for attention for my mother. Even though she didn't read it, I was venting. The world was reading it. I didn't say anything disrespectful about my mother. And I said, well, I'm, I was about 34 or five at the time. I said, well, I'm, you know, even though however old I am, I still want that type of love from my mother, regardless of how old I am. She gets on the post, don't get the disrespect in my auntie like that and this, that, and the third. Wait, where you come from? Because my mom didn't get her neck cut from ear to ear. You was never there. My mom didn't had strokes. She was never there, but this That's is your auntie. Honor. This is your auntie though. You see what I'm saying? This is your auntie you that you came background. and tried. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Judge Mathis. Okay. So let me just start from here. I was born in Minnesota, but we also lived here in Chicago. We moved up here from Chicago to Minnesota. I was probably about eight years old when we came, you know, left Chicago to go to Minnesota. Um, at the time, Your Honor, I can remember it just as if I'm writing up my own novel of my life story. Um, at the time, they were going to get sent to the state. So my mother, being the person and the good person that she is, took Trevi and her brother in to come stay with us at our she house. Did. And she took advantage of the so, state and was spending the money that the state that's not gave true, her. And that's why they took she us was up out of her the, home. She was spending the money on them, Your Honor. She will run, she will run home. you all? I was, I was probably, 16 at the time yeah, and I was mom probably was like 11. when we got taken away. I was 11 around that time. And my social worker she asked came. me if, if, if a check was being sent. Okay. I she said, came, no. Your Honor. You she said, the was you, you get getting the a check? She doesn't get no, the mail, Your Honor. her mother was getting She's a 16. check. It came in her She was never at home. She will run so away. My she was a problem child. asked me, was I getting She was a problem and child. She ran away. And was I getting the things that I need? She was doing stuff that she wasn't supposed to do. And I told her I wasn't getting the things that I need. And they pulled us up out of her home. She wasn't able to run away no more. 
stories. So she made up some stories that, you know, my mom couldn't deal with it no more because my mom was getting tired of being stressed out. She and says many people no, in the family don't like her. Why is that? I was on house arrest when I was oh, at your yeah, mom's house. Yeah, many people By her own admission, she says many people in the family yeah, don't many like people. her. I was on house arrest. Why, why is that? Run away. Because she used to lie. Trivi used to steal. Mm-hmm. I was Trivi. on house arrest. How can Trivi. I run anywhere? Right, steal. but after she, yep, she used to be on house arrest as well, too. That's what she got on house arrest. That's what I was on house arrest for. She went to jail also for cutting someone. Yes, I did. So, you know, she was just a problem child. Yes, I did. Self-defense. So, a lot of people didn't like that around. They didn't want to associate with Right, and then also, I grew up with her so I looked up to her because she was a little bit older than me but you know she used to have me in the little uh in our room doing dances on the ground my mom caught me didn't like her being inappropriate with me teaching me dances that I was oh, so I had a knife up to your throat so it was just you know I was just looking up to her at the time but at the end of the okay. day she's just she's just <laughs> mad your honor at the end of the day like she said before, she doesn't have that relationship with her mother. But at the end of the day, look at your attitude. You know, we can't be a family and be around you if you're a negative person. Whatever my mom put me through as a kid doesn't define who I am as a woman today. And you talk about who I okay. am today. Don't talk you're about still who the same I am. Person today, no, I'm Judy. not, sweetie. Yes, you are. Well, I am. You I work two jobs, baby. I work two jobs. I take eight women for okay, a living. Okay, okay. I get up great. and work every day. And I'm a teacher. Why you ain't paying me my $250 being at me? Because at the time, I was going in you between got so jobs, much and money. I told you that, and I told you that. You got so that. much money, but you're, you're on the trips. You're buying rings. You're on the trips. What no, does baby. that have to do with you? Okay, girl. Okay. I go on trips. I take okay. care of myself. I work hard for my money. Okay. You guys got time for all that. All right. Y'all, y'all want to talk to me? Or y'all want to talk to each other? I want to talk to you, Judge. Anybody got? I got time for all that. What's the two hundred fifty dollar loan? Tell me about that. On the date of September twentieth. Facebook, I got on Facebook, Ebony Marie Crochet, or however you pronounce her name on Facebook, she posted a um, a post, if I ain't never needed my family, this would be the time I need them at the most high. So I'm thinking the, the way she posted it, she needed a kidney or a lung. So I immediately get in her inbox. <laughs> oh my God. I immediately get in her inbox. What's up, cuz, what's going on? She said, well, call me. I called her. She went through and got to telling me about her rent. That's so a lie, Your Honor. She, she called me finish. She went through and got to explaining to me about her rent and why she was why she needed family. So she told me she was just a little stressed. She was fit to get put out her her place. She started a new job. She owed her apartment six hundred dollars, which was a lie. She owed him more than six hundred dollars. She didn't get paid to the twenty eighth, and she said she didn't help. She didn't ask all the family that she could, and she asked other people. I said, Well, did you? From where I'm from, Minnesota, they help you with emergency assistance if you have a job and stuff like that, if you can prove that you can pay your rent. So I asked her if she went to the county for help, and she told me she did. She went and did everything that she would, she could have done to get money for her rent. So then we came up with, I can give her $250 to help her with her rent. I explained to her in a text message that I would loan you this money. It's a loan. I would loan you this money, but you have to give me my when money back. When was it to be repaid? She got paid um, on the 28th. She was supposed to start giving me payments on the 28th. I'm so much of a family member. I said, I don't need the whole 250 at one time. Let's do payments. Because if you're behind in your rent right now, you'll be behind trying to catch up and pay me. So I you're said- You're a smart me- and considerate woman. Yes, yes. So I tell now, her- Why is she I- acting a fool on you? Well, I tell her, I said, um, Ebony, give me a hundred bucks. Got it. I said, when you get paid again in two weeks, you can give me the remaining balance. Okay. And what, what did saying? she give you? Nothing? She haven't gave me anything. So Ma'am? when it was... So, um, yes, she did borrow me the loan for the 250 and that was on the 20th. So. When were you to repay? What was the agreement so the on agreement, repayment? The agreement was that I was going to pay her $125 on the 28th, Your Honor. So when I called the company that had, you know, it was my last day working for them. So I assumed that I was going to receive a whole nother check. So when I called HR that day, which was a Friday, because the 28th was a Friday, I didn't notice nothing was on my card at the time. So when I called my cousin on that day, I said, okay, well, they just said, look out for a paper check because that's how they do their last payment. They mail it in the mail and it may take up to five, seven business days. So I called her and I told her that. So Saturday came, which was the next day. I still have not received nothing in the mail. Next thing I know it, I'm getting all sorts of type of messages sent to my brother's phone, my niece's phone, and my sister's phone that she has already went on Facebook and made a live video. This is your counterclaim. She went on Facebook and did what? 
um, she started, you know, down talking me. Basically, she gave me $250, calling me all types of names, cuss words, um, tagging me and my sister and my Let brother. Let me see what you said. So this was in your, actually in your oh, green room today. Saying, I don't give a f Cause the same that got something to say, you should have went and helped her pay her rent. How about that? And tell him I said it. So that well, was I didn't one hear of, her say your name. Well, that was one How of the posts. I want to hear her though, say your name. After that, your honor. Well, she has in multiple. I have other posts Let's and see stuff what you that have. she has. What's your name? <clears throat> yep. I or with an exchange between the and two. And how others. did it affect your living? How did it, it does, affect your Because I'm a job. school teacher. How did it affect And I have. And I. I'm a school personal. teacher. And I have parents that's on my page. So, Your Honor, I never said I wasn't going to pay her back. I was never dodging her. My phone broke, so she got a way to contact my brother. She did a text message with me, my sister, and my brother tagged in it. I on contacted that. your brother and because he's older. Everybody is on there. I have parents. I'm a I didn't say teacher, anything that wasn't true. It was that. It, it wasn't. That wasn't something for me. Facebook to you know, though. Me. You but that's owe not me. something that's for how Facebook I got your to attention. know. You stop no. answering my no. phone call. My phone broke. So, like I said you before, your honor, broke that day. I can didn't show you. Didn't break that day, Ebony. I can show you. Your phone didn't break that day. You were on But like I said, your honor, ma'am, what she is saying to you is that. You have disclosed private information that is damaging to her reputation that would not otherwise be exposed to the general public. And that's a form of uh, invasion of privacy. Hey, can I say you wouldn't you know are? the difference between slander and invasion of privacy. Okay. But this isn't slander. Slander is a statement that the person knows is false. Yeah. They intentionally make the was... statement an effort to harm your reputation, and it does harm your reputation. So what were you going to say? And it does, Your Honor. That's just half of the posters. I mean, she talks about me yeah. every day as if she's obsessed with me. So okay. just over what is $2, What did she intentionally say was untrue? It was just basically, you know, she said that I still owe 900 till this day. But I'm this is not for this I'm your claim for slander. Honor. I don't see okay. slander okay. or defamation. And I'm going to grant your judgment for the 250 really for the loan it. that so she owes you. So how do I go you. about her Have going into day. my business? Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. You should have kept the same energy giving me yeah. my money. And you went into my personal business and went into I my can, account. He just told you. No, you just did that. No, so, where you you so where are you getting it from? So where are you getting it from? You got 